actually first goes to the aldehyde and the aldehyde then further oxidizes to the carboxylic acid and this only happens this further oxidation only happens if you do not remove the aldehyde from the reaction vessel and instead you heat under reflux now reflux basically means not removing from the reaction vessel you are just you are keeping the reaction vessel closed you are not allow you are keeping it sealed from the top so you are not allowing any gases to escape so the aldehyde will further oxidize to the carboxylic acid however if you distill off the aldehyde will come out from distillation and it will not further oxidize so this is the mild oxidation of our primary alcohols and this is the further oxidation of primary alcohols so let's move further now we have done the oxidation of primary alcohols now we'll talk about the oxidation of secondary alcohols so the oxidation of secondary alcohols is not as complicated as the oxidation of primary alcohols there is only one product possible which is a ketone so a ketone is basically a co group attached to two al two different alkyl groups two different or same but two alkyl groups so let's say r1 and r2 now r1 and r2 can be the same alkyl group or they can be different al alkyl groups so these are ketones again we will be dealing with ketones in the carbonyl carbonyl compounds playlist but what you need to know is that while primary alcohols undergo mild oxidation to form aldehydes and further oxidation to form carboxylic acids secondary alcohols only oxidize to form ketones that's it so you use any oxidizing agent so you can use k2cr2o7 like the previous example or you can use kmno4 which is potassium manganate so in the k in the case of kmno4 the color change is from purple to colorless in the in the case of k2cr2o7 which is potassium dichromate the color change is from orange to green so you should know the color changes with each of these um each of these uh, oxidizing agents and then this is a secondary alcohol so this is propen to all as you can see and this will oxidize to give propenone so we will do more about the naming of ketones in the carbonyl compounds playlist but now you know how ketones and uh, aldehydes are formed and you also know that what the oxidation of primary and secondary alcohols gives so this is uh, oxidation now we are done with oxidation so now let's move on to the next phase which is carboxylic acids another very interesting topic so the carboxylic acid group is the co oh group so it's basically a co group attached to an oh group so that's this is called the carboxylic acid group now um the isomerism of carboxylic acids so there's not not much to do we will do some examples but let's first see the general formula so the general formula of a carboxylic acid is cn h2n o2 or c n minus 1 Uh, actually it's cnh2no2 is a better way because n minus 1 is not a good way to represent this so cnh2no2 i will tell you how else you can write it so you can write it as c actually yeah you can write it as cn but these two ends are different you can write it as cn h2n plus 1 co2h so basically this is the ca the carboxylic acid group it's completely different and cnh2n plus 1 uh, yeah and then co2h so basically if we have uh, n is equal to 0 it uh, h is equal to 1 you can see so the most the most simple carboxylic acid is hco2h which is h co oh if you write n is equal to 1 there is also before we do that let's do the naming so this is known as methanoic acid because it has one carbon atom from the carboxylic acid group only so methanoic acid then if we have n is equal to 1 this becomes ch3 co2h so this will become c now you can see that there are two carbon atoms in total one from the methyl group and one from the carboxylic acid group so this is eth anoic acid
and then we can have